Triacylglycerols undergo a type of reaction called hydrolysis. As the name implies, this is a reaction between the triacylglycerol and water, hydro referring to the water. And this reaction is one where the water molecule is used to break apart the triacylglycerol. So the lysis is talking about breaking it. We need exactly three water molecules to break apart one molecule of triacylglycerol, which if you remember, is just a fancy word for a fat or an oil, either one. This is a reaction that takes place inside our body. We hydrolyze triacylglycerols as a huge source of energy. A lot of the energy that we get comes from this reaction. So in this reaction, the as I said, the water molecules are going to break apart the triacylglycerol. And specifically, they break this carbon-oxygen bond right here, the one that I'm highlighting. So this portion of the molecule is all going to fall off as its own little entity. And in fact, what I'm going to do is just copy this triacylglycerol, paste it over here, and we are actually going to do that. So we're going to take a little eraser here and we're going to come in and we're going to break that carbon oxygen bond. This is the one that breaks every time. That was too much, too much bond breaking. We'll break that one and we'll break this little one right here too. And this causes the molecule, the triacylglycerol molecule, to be separated into four separate components. I'm just going to kind of pull them apart from each other like this. So these are the four products of this reaction. Now, the water molecules are actually, they become embedded in these four portions of, of the products of this reaction. Uh, every water molecule, it might be useful if I draw um, the, high, the water molecule, draw it out as HOH. So every water molecule breaks apart as well at the hydrogen-oxygen bond, and the hydrogen atom from three of the water molecules attaches itself to these oxygens right here, and this makes a molecule called glycerol. Now remember, the water molecules are breaking right here, so the other half of the water molecule is this OH group, and this OH group attaches itself right there in that spot right there, and this produces three fatty acids. Now, if this reaction looks familiar to you, this reaction is just the reverse of the formation of a triacylglycerol. It's just written backwards.